This video is designed to give you an overview on conducting preliminary research for AP Capstone. If you are going to complete an entire research project or paper, you may ask yourself, what's the point of doing preliminary research? Why can't I just jump in and begin working? That is because preliminary research informs your body of knowledge and helps you to refine your later questions. Spending the time doing preliminary research at the beginning of the research process can help you to develop better, stronger research questions and a more robust and quality research project. We all know that research takes time. And preliminary research is done at the beginning of the research process. Let's talk briefly on how to conduct preliminary research quickly and effectively to meet your needs of building a body of knowledge and helping to inform the development of a research question. The following slides are informed from the document How to Do Preliminary Research Quickly and Effectively from the New York Institute of Technology. The purpose of preliminary research is to help narrow your topic by finding what is out there. It helps to identify what is doable based on your page limit or research parameters. It helps you get an idea of specific aspects of your topics and guides you to further detailed reading and better questions. It's important to remember that preliminary research is just that, preliminary. Refer back to the purposes. It's simply designed to help you understand what's out there and help you to revise your questions. Preliminary research can be done quickly and effectively. It should be a quick process and it should point you to more narrow concepts. Here are several guides for how to do preliminary research in various media. For books or research journals, Looking in the index is the first place to go for specific pages that apply to your topic. If the index is present but unhelpful, check a table of contents. This may give you other information, including chapter or article titles, that may prove promising. If the table of contents does not have anything that is helpful, quickly review the introductory chapter. This may give you an idea of what the journal or the book is discussing. If none of these things are useful, you can put the source aside and consider it unhelpful for your research. For articles or web pages, the best thing you can do is read the first three paragraphs and then read the last three paragraphs. If these two read throughs provide you with an understanding that the source may be useful, then you can continue to read more specifically. Speed reading and skimming is okay in preliminary research. Once you've read the first three paragraphs or the, or the last three paragraphs, you can also start looking at the first sentence of each paragraph in between. This can help you build an idea of what the author is trying to tell you. Now that we've talked about the purpose of preliminary research and a few ways to do it effectively and quickly, let's talk about the types of preliminary research. Yes, there's more than one type. You may do preliminary research because you are unsure of the topic that you would like to address. So perhaps you're looking for a variety of things that are interesting to you. Topic generation preliminary research occurs when you have a general idea. This way you can do a search to see what concepts are associated with it. This can also help to narrow a topic. You may also do a preliminary research for concept connection. It can help you develop a deeper understanding of your general topic. And you may find connections that open up new research arenas and avenues. You may do body of knowledge preliminary research. It's very difficult to develop a research question if you don't have a basic knowledge of the concepts or topic that you would like to research. This preliminary research can give you a better understanding of the whole. 
You can also do preliminary research for topic narrowing. This is very similar to body of knowledge or connections. In this case, preliminary research for topic narrowing is done so that you can move from a general topic through various narrow topics to a final focused topic. Let's make a quick note on Wikipedia and a general note on sources. For Wikipedia, it is useful for building general body of knowledge development in the very early stages. But Wikipedia is not a citable source used in academic research. However, Wikipedia can be incredibly beneficial in data mining or source mining. Using the references and footnotes at the end of a Wikipedia article can lead you to areas that are citable and that can give you quality information. Additionally, preliminary research should give you useful information to build your knowledge and build a question. Preliminary sources are not always academic, and that's okay. But remember, for the purpose of research, academic and credible sources should be the ones you use to build your argument and to build a research project.